guys, it's me again, Clem from Wonder What, and today I'm going to do the Anything But Books book tag. So this tag was created by Read or Not, and I'm going to link the original channel down below, so go check it out. And you're going to see, this is pretty easy, like this tag was made to make us booktubers talk about anything but books. So let's get into it. First question is, name a cartoon that you love. So for this I'm going to mention three cartoons because I can't decide between them. The first one is the one I'm watching since I'm a child and I'm still watching it, and it's Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo so much. Like I remember when I was a child, uh, in France, the episode only aired on Wednesday at a specific hour and I would wake up every Wednesday to watch this episode and sometimes I wish I could skip class just to watch uh, the episode. And I've watched all the episodes that was aired, like anything that was linked to Scooby-Doo, I've watched it. The movie, the TV series, everything. The second one I'm going to mention is Futurama and this I watched it when I was a little bit older and I loved it. Like when I come back to school I would put it on the TV and it was so nice, uh, it made me laugh a lot, a lot and um, I don't know, it's silly but I like the concept and I watch every episode of this show and I loved it. And the next, the last one I'm going to mention is How to Train Your Dragons, but the TV series. There were two movies and I absolutely loved them. So when I saw that Netflix uh, made th those movies into TV series, I had to watch it and it's actually really good. And since it has dragons in it, you know that by now. If it, if it has dragons, like, I'm going to watch it. There is a lot of shows I'm going to watch it, so yeah. The second question is, what's your favorite song right now? So as I'm prelfinging this, I'm going to mention a song I'm listening right now. Uh, but I think that when this will be on, like on YouTube, I think I will still listen to it because I think it's a very good summer song and it's Stay by uh, Zed and Alicia Cara. The third question is, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? So, what I could do for hours, the first thing I could do for hours without, with, that isn't reading is watching TV series. I'm a huge fan of TV series, like I watch a lot, a lot of them. Like on my TV show times, I don't know if you know what is it, like it's an app that helps you follow, keep tracks on your series. It's actually really good, if you don't know it I'm going to link it down below, it's amazing, it saved my life. And on TV show times, I like, I have, I don't know how many series I have on it, like I'm watching a lot of series and it's something I regret not doing it on this channel, like I would like to do it more, like talk about series because I watch series that are actually really amazing, like and you don't hear about it and I think it's sad because they have, they have a real potential, it's really great, so I think I'm going to do it by now, so yeah, I could watch TV series, like I do it actually, watch TV series for hours, and the other thing I could do for hours is writing, because I want to be an author since I'm a child, and yeah, sometimes I spend hours writing, not even writing, writing, like putting a story together, like every step, every step, uh, describing the characters, creating my word, and playing the sense, uh, playing the scene in my head. So yeah, I really enjoy this creation of a story. Like I love it. Question four: What is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? Actually, something I like to do, like writing. You didn't know I could. Uh, I like to write, but it's not that surprising. But there is something I love to do, and it's planning wedding in my head like I even wrote some plan wedding uh, plan for weddings I like to do that and also uh, I like to plan and to imagine um, um, how to say that like how to decorate your house like sometimes I'm going to be uh, with a catalog and I'm going to watch this and combine this with that and create this perfect kitchen or this perfect living room like I love it and I'm kind of building for my for my future self a notebook with all the ideas I collected through through my youth so it could be useful like it's like a a notebook for my future self with all the things I would like to do with my children, all the things I would like to do as a grown-up, 
every decoration for my house ID like I love it so it's something I like to do like plain weddings in weddings in my head and and decorate house in my head so yeah like actually I decorate house on the sims so it's pretty good so yeah question five what's your favorite unnecessarily things to learn about I like to learn about um, hairdressing no not hairdressing but like how to how to like how to make braids or how to make really complicated um, hair stuff like bands and stuff like that like I'm watching a lot of tutorials about hair and how to, 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 to take care of your hair like I love to do that and I love to, to do this on my friends like when I learn a new hairstyle I'm going to try it on my friends or try it on me and I like that like I could do this for hours also Question six is, what is something unusual you know how to do? Um, I'm thinking about it now and I don't think that there is something unusual I know how to do. That's my phone. Where is it? Never mind. Um, like, no, I think the things I know are pretty basic, like, what could I... Question 7. Name something you've made in the last year. One thing I made last year and I'm pretty proud of is this channel that I made with my two best friends, so Sarah and Jenny. And we were like, when we created it, like, it was a year since we first thought about it. And when it happened, we were really excited, at least I was really excited and really happy. And I'm really happy to be doing this now, even though you're not that much but I don't do this for the for the subscribers like for the, I'm doing this for my subscribers but I'm not doing this to add a lot of subscribers but I like sharing stuff with you and I like yeah I like talking about books and so I'm really happy that I that we decided to do this because I'm loving it question 8 what's your most recent personal project oh. My, my most recent personal project is that I'm trying to create my own brand of bookish candles. Like, um, I have on my phone a note with all the scents I would like to make, with uh, some... with already some scent that I will associate, associate with this book or this thing. And so, I don't know what with when it's going to be real, but I hope it's going to be real soon. But as I'm going away, like I'm going to study abroad next year, I will have a lot of free time. So maybe I'm going to try to elaborate this a little bit more, like do some tryouts and stuff like that. And hopefully in a year, I will launch my Kindle brand, my Kindle brand and I'm super happy about it and I'm super pumped. It's something I really want to be real and so, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll, you will learn and hear more about it in the next month, I don't know, we will see, but yeah, I'm really proud of that and really excited about it. Question 9, uh, tell us something you think about often. Um, I think it's going to be weird, but very often, like when I'm in the public transportation, and I'm sit and I'm seated like sometimes I don't know I'm going to think like I'm going to see this woman in front of me or this guy and I'm going to think oh my gosh I'm thinking about something but this woman in front of me is thinking about something else and she has this whole life of her own like I don't know what she wants what she's where she's aided to what what just happened before like what she's feeling what she's thinking um, and this is something I thought like I thought about people thinking and what people might think like sometimes I'm astonished with the human mind and that what I'm thinking people are also thinking about it or they also have those moments where they think about a lot of things and I think it's marvelous and really really amazing and sometimes I'm so stunned by th while thinking about this because I don't know, it's weird to say that people are also thinking or that people, like, 
I don't know, I know people think, but you know, I realize that people are thinking also. It's really weird. I don't know if you get it, but it is why it's what I think very often. Question 10 is give us something that's your fave, but make it something oddly specific. So, at first I didn't really get this question and I'm not sure I get it right now. But I think that I have to take something that I like but it's really specific like, uh, for example, my favorite food but while I'm studying. And so I'm going to give you my, my cry list and it's something like, I'm a person, you don't know that, but I don't cry that often or when I cry, like, I want to cry for good, like, I'm going to, let's get into a week, if in a week I have a lot of bad stuff happening to me, like shit things, like problems with my friend and stuff like that, I'm going to accumulate it till I reach the point, like I can't not cry. So in this moment I'm going to cry, but I want to purge myself of all the sadness and the crying. So I have this cry list that I go to, to purge myself, like to cry for good. And on this cry list, I like it's, it's some stuff that I read or that I watch, so it makes me cry even more. So after that, um, like I can't cry anymore because I cry, I cried all the tears I had. So uh, very often you're going to see it's awful. Like, um, like, don't judge me, please. Very often I'm going to watch uh, the last scene of the movie Remember Me that makes me cry every time after uh, because it had, it's related with the uh, September 11th so yeah uh, then I'm going to watch the death of Mufasa on the Lion King the death of um, Bambi's, mo Bambi's mom on Bambi <clears throat> Sorry, then I listen to I can also listen to very very sad music and then I I read of uh, Funeral of Augustus in the Fountain of Stars because it always makes me cry I could also read some very sad parts in Harry Potter and so on so you see it's like my awful cry list like I go it I go ugly when I, when I do this so question 11 is the first things that pops into your mind and the first thing I'm thinking right now is that it's actually really hot in my room and that I might be dying under this heat and that I'm going to stop this video right now because I'm really starting to get sweaty and it's not very nice so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of us um, if you want to do this tag then do it I'll tag you and yeah um, that's pretty much everything so bye guys <laughs>